Hello guys, Eli from Lightcook is here. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make basic character movement in UPB game engine using logic briefs only. The first thing you wanna do is go on and run UPB game engine. Inside, considering the default cube as my main character, I'm gonna right click select it. Then go to the physics tab and change the physics type from static to dynamic. Then what you want to do is go and open the logic editor and add four keyboard sensors, each for every direction. And do the same for motion controllers. Connect them with the sensors respectively. And you can minimize the controllers. Now going to the first keyboard sensor, I'm gonna left click on the key box here and define the controlling key using the keyboard. This controlling key will activate movement in the forward direction. This will go backwards, here's left side and right side. So now going the motion actuators. As you can see there are two main sections here but in this tutorial we are only going to go through the first one. The second one is a topic for another video which reminds me for any requests including UPB game engine I'll be glad to hear from all of you guys in the comment section. So now considering the forward direction of my main character is aligned with the y-axis I would go down here on the location tab and in the y box I'm gonna type a positive number let's say 0.3 which means which means 0.3 units per frame that's the speed we're moving with so going down, this will be the backward, so it's the same but the, with negative number, whoops, negative 0.3, this is left, if I'm not mistaken, yes, A, this is left. So here, left, left side of my character is the negative part of X axis, so I'm going here, on the X, again on the location tab, and I will enter a negative number, negative 0.3. In here, the right direction will be the same as the left but with positive number, so 0.3. Now let's test it out. You can see the main character is moving on every direction every direction so everything's fine as you can see guys it's absolutely simple so I hope you share your experience and questions in the comment sections below thank you all for watching please like subscribe and share and see you in the next tutorial